Nicotine patches come in three different strengths and are available in a 24 and a 16 hour patch. The lower strengths of patches are rarely used and we tend to use mostly the 21 milligram in the 24 hour patches for most patients. There's no need to taper down as the course continues. Nicotine patches deliver blood through the skin and the muscle and the fat into the bloodstream and up to the brain in a slow and steady rate. There is far less nicotine in a patch than one would ever get from smoking a cigarette. So patches work by producing a slow and steady amount of nicotine, which bores the receptors in the brain and helps them to fall asleep or downregulate. This usually takes about 12 weeks for the receptors to relearn to function without nicotine. Nicotine patches should be used in conjunction with oral nicotine therapy to ensure the best success. This helps to provide the background baseline nicotine and then helps you with the cravings that pop up through the day. Not everybody will use the same dose of nicotine patches or nicotine therapy, just as not everyone smokes the same number of cigarettes or smokes in the same way. So the dose varies depending on your smoking depth and levels and your level of addiction. Some smokers will need one or maybe two patches in order to relieve their cravings, sometimes even more. The dose is what suits the person to relieve their cravings. The 24 hour patches should be applied at night time because it takes about four to six hours for the nicotine levels to actually peak in the bloodstream. And this is really important if you need to wake up and not have cravings the next day. If the patch is just applied initially, it can take two hours before the nicotine even starts to reach the bloodstream. Applying the 24 hour patch in the morning if, uh, if you're pregnant or if you do have trouble with sleeping with patches, um, if they give you bad dreams or nightmares, um, then putting it on in the morning is the next best solution for that. Other possible side effects can be a skin itch or irritation and that can be sorted out with um, cortisone cream. It is normal when you apply your patch to experience a slight tingling or itching feeling. So if you need to smoke while you're wearing a patch, it's not harmful. It's always safer to wear your patch and continue to wear your patch even if you have a lapse. It actually can help some smokers when they're trying to quit to wear a patch first and then cut down their cigarettes as they go. This will help you to take in less of the harmful toxins in your, to your body and teach you about reducing your smoking as well. How do you apply a nicotine patch? First of all, you need to cut your patches open. They are sealed uh, because they can be quite dangerous if small children or pets do get a hold of them. You need to open the patch and take the backing off the patch itself. Now it needs to be applied to a clean, dry and hairless area. So once the backing's removed, Apply it onto the skin, press it down firmly, and rub it and hold it in place for about 20 seconds. Now that can be worn in the shower and for up to 24 hours. When you're replacing your patch, make sure you take that off, fold it up and dispose of it safely, and then choose a new area on the body for the next time you apply. You can put your patch basically anywhere you like. It can go on the arms, the shoulders, the chest. Uh, if you have trouble with it sticking, you can use some uh, surgical tape. You could use a bandage around it. Some people like to put them on the top of their feet under their socks or around their ankles with just the top part of a sock holding it in place.